Alright, cool, man. Uh, <laughs> right, so I'm gonna do, um, it's cool if I do uh, like a pretty new poem for y'all, like it's not... Uh, great. I'm still working on it. Um, so when I, when I wrote this poem, I did um, something I promised myself I'd never do. Um, I wrote I wrote a poem about sports. Um, <laughs> like. Yeah, I, I know. Well, it's like so. In it, it's, a, I think it's a little different here, but like certainly in America, I think a lot of, there's this idea that like if you're you know like a liberal artsy douchebag like me, you kind of like have to hate sports because that's some like bro shit. But um, I'm I'm secretly kind of a huge bro. It's like not. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm like, I know I'm not supposed to talk about it, but I like really I really like um, you know shitty light beer and like given wedgies. It's just like really. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, but so, so this past fall, I was watching a, I was watching a, a football game. Well, an, an, an American fo- hand egg. Um, <laughs> um, and was, this game, I was watching this team that I fucking hate. They're fucking awful. Um, they're called the Green Bay Packers. And they're just a garbage team. Yeah, fuck you, Mark. That's Mark. He's my tour manager. His family's from Wisconsin. And uh, they're all dumb cheeseheads. So, uh, yeah, so the uh, the Packers are um, a garbage organization full of garbage people. And... <laughs> <laughs> Um, really, I mean, I just, okay, like, you know, it's just that, so I, I like the Minnesota Vikings, and like, Minnesota's here, and Wisconsin's here, um, and the Vikings are very bad at, at sports, um, and the Packers are very good, they win all the time, um, and, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> um, and their, their quarterback, uh, is like, his, his name's Aaron Rodgers, and he's like one of the best to ever play the game, that's fucking infuriating, right? So, um, so this past fall, I was watching, uh, I was watching a Packers game, and they were losing, and it was like, t- delicious, uh, and... <laughs> Um, Aaron Rodgers was playing really terribly, um, and he like so he turned the ball over um, and was like walking back on the sideline. And as he was walking, he took his helmet off, um, and he looked. There's this close up on his face, and he looked, he looked depressed, right? Not just like not just sad because they were losing, but like genuinely like something was wrong. Um, and this thing came out of my mouth that I was so so surprised that I said. Um, so I wrote a poem about that moment. Um, it doesn't have a title yet, but uh, I think you'll like it. Aaron Rodgers is on the field in Green Bay, and tonight he is terrible. He's 13 for 40 with two interceptions and no touchdowns for a QB rating of negative a billion, which is like if I showed up on stage and did my entire set facing the wall and eating mayonnaise out of a jar. (laughs) Aaron Rodgers, probably the greatest quarterback to ever play the game, has those bags under his eyes that tell me he's been eating a lot of cold mac and cheese in bed with the lights off. Aaron Rodgers looks how I really feel when I say, I'm doing great. Aaron Rodgers makes $22 million a year, and yet he still looks like his dog bit him after calling him a selfish person. Aaron looks like he last slept in 2011 maybe, and god damn, is he playing horribly. He's playing like he's thinking about how he needs to wash his sheets. He's playing like he hasn't washed his sheets in five or six months. He's playing like he'd wash his goddamn sheets if you stop goddamn crying for one goddamn minute, but maybe I'm reading too much into this. I find myself saying out loud, how is he depressed? He makes so much money and his life is fucking perfect. And how much does that sound like the last time someone said to me, how are you sad when you have your dream job or you get paid to do your art and you're in perfect health and you're engaged to someone who loves you. You don't have any reason to be depressed, but there doesn't have to be a reason. The brain is clay, but the mold is persistent. The brain has a shape, and you can only see the shadows. The brain remains a brain, no matter how much cash you stack around it. My last birthday, I was surrounded by people who loved me, and the loudest thought in my head was still they wouldn't even be sad if you died. Aaron Rodgers walks off the field in Green Bay and goes back to his dark house. They won, but it doesn't feel like it. He watches game tape until 3 a.m. and falls asleep on the couch. His phone has four texts, all of which say he played great today, even though he didn't. Everyone says, good game, instead of how can I help? I'm going to leave this stage, go back to the green room, and then to the hotel where the TV will silently show me homes I will never own. People are smiling and having dinner parties while I fail to fall asleep. The question isn't, why are you sad? Or even, how can I fix it? The question is, do you need a blanket? Can I get you some ginger ale? What's your therapist's number? What kind of sandwich? How can I help? Um, 
So if there's anything I want you to get from 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 that poem, there are two things. Um, the first is that it's like it's really really important to support people that are going through mental health issues, man. Like the, <laughs> the biggest thing that's helped me, other than therapy, which I'll talk more about in a second, but um, the the thing that's helped me the most is having people in my life that I really trust. Who like when I'm when I'm clearly not feeling good, be like, hey Neil, what do you what do you need? I'm like, oh, um, and then uh, and they're like, do you want to just like sit in this room and not speak to each other? And I'm like. Yes. So that's really important. Seriously, support support your friends if they're going through shit. Um, and the second thing I want you to get is uh, fuck the Packers. So um, and fuck you, Mark. All right. Uh, we love you, Neil. Fuck you. Okay. Um, all right. Cool. It's gonna get real sad now. Um. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some poems that are kind of rough. Um. But I promise I promise I'm going somewhere with it. I'm not just gonna be like everything's bad later. Um, cool, man. So.